With Marguerite Patton appearing on our screens in the 40s, Fanny Craddock in the 50s, Delia coming along in the 70s, the excitable Keith Floyd in the 80s, and the discovery of Jamie, Nigella and Gordon in the 90s, it's never been so easy for the British public to make a culinary masterpiece at home. New research from AO.com suggests that we're not just emulating the dishes from our favourite foodie shows, but the kitchens and the very appliances on our screen too, everything from the food processor to the electric whisk. Food television has never been so popular, and this year's Great British Bake Off reached a staggering 9 million viewers. Food shows are so endearing to the British public because, after all, food is at the core of our daily existence. Despite cooking in a ball gown, it was Fanny Craddock who really constantly put across the point that cooking shouldn't be mundane, it should be enjoyable, and with her she bought a lot of dishes that we hadn't seen before from Italy and France. Fanny Craddock appeared on our screen 60 years ago, and a lot's changed since then. Her methods would be considered now as maybe a little old guard, a bit labour intensive, certainly compared to Jamie Oliver, cooking fast, simple food in a kitchen full of gadgets. And it's looking at telly over this time that you can really see how kitchen implements have evolved, and fast. It was Keith Floyd who brought flamboyancy onto our screens, a sense of the bon viveur, glass of wine in hand, and it was him who really took cooking out of the studio kitchen and off on location. Delia Smith was very straight down the line. It was really a cooking lesson you were getting. It wasn't just about the how, it was the why as well. Rick Stein came along with his fish dishes. It was all about expertise and focus. And then he started to travel the world, getting an idea of a country over a series rather than just one programme. Then Jamie Oliver came along. He was young, funky, cool, and really informal. It wasn't about being an expert. It was about sharing information, an idea that everybody could do it. It was supermarket-centric. And the clever thing about it all was that it was this idea of accessibility. Cooking was for everybody.